Hey YouTube, I've been asked a couple times how I have my radio set up for my DLG. This is my Predator 2.5. I've had it for about six years. It's been a great plane. Uh, I love flying it every every single time I go out. Uh, so let me show you my setup here. Uh, my three main mixes, speed, Fly cruise, and thermal, and thermal, I have on this one three position Fly switch. And basically all that does is change the incidence of the flaps here. In speed, it just has a tiny bit of reflex. In cruise, it's just a tiny bit down. You can barely even see it move. And then in thermal, it adds a, quite a bit more down. And for launching, I have this switch. It's just a two position switch, launch and normal. For launch, all it does is add just the tiniest bit of up elevator. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's it's a tiny amount. All that does is just rotate the plane out of your hand as you let go. So my procedure is grabbing the wingtip peg, I'll hold on to this transmitter with my left hand. I put my thumb inside the circle here, not on the stick. And uh, I love this Terrain SX-7S because it has these big rubber blocks on the back. It makes it really easy to hold on to. So I'll hold the transmitter, not touching any of the controls. Grab the plane by the throwing peg, swing around and throw it. As soon as I let go, my hand comes right here to the transmitter, turns that to normal mode. It's already set in speed mode when I launch it, so that will continue the zoom up. As soon as I hit Apogee, uh, I'm losing speed, I'll push the nose over while at the same time flipping this over into cruise mode. Uh, and that's about it. A um, couple of the features, uh, when I flip this to normal mode, it starts a timer and it will read out uh, every minute that I've been in the air. It'll call it out for me. Uh, it also increases the logging level uh, so I can keep, so I can download the logs later and view them on my computer. Um, this switch I have set to mute the Vario so it's not beeping at me if I don't need it. And then on this switch, I have it set to, it's just a momentary switch, uh, I have it set to call out um, the signal strength and current altitude. And then I also have on this knob, it's another trim for the flaps. Because I found that uh, when it's windy, I prefer every position to have a little bit more reflex. And then when it's dead calm, I prefer every position to have a little bit more flaps. So this knob is basically adjusts the flaps up and down a little bit for every position of this switch. So in cruise, I turn the switch and it can be as far down as that. And then in speed, you can see it's still down but I can adjust that all the way up to where it has quite a bit of reflex. And like I said, I just changed that based on current wind speed of the day. Uh, and then lastly, these controls are normal, ailerons, elevator, rudder. Uh, and then for landing flaps, I have it set on the throttle stick and it only starts engaging when I get down past half throttle. That's just to make sure I'm not accidentally moving the flaps at all while I'm working the rudder. And that's about it. Thanks.